Hi, uh, in this lecture, um, we'll be introducing you uh, to some Python data processing modules and uh, techniques. So that will uh, give us uh, both the experience of knowing or learning Python and also in parallel some uh, data processing steps or some data processing techniques to, to learn. Today we'll be mainly focusing on one scientific tool that is widely used and uh, very popular, what we call numerical Python or it is known as uh, NumPy. Some of the content of this are actually adapted from one of the uh, reference course uh, material book we are following, uh, Machine Learning and Python Cookbook, Practical Solutions from Pre-processing to deep learning by Chris Albon. So again, um, I am trying to create some resources uh, and I'll be posting on my GitHub and sharing you guys with the link so you can experience uh, the, the content by yourself and you can uh, play with the, 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 the notebook. Okay. So let's start. The, the first thing we are loading the NumPy package is uh, numpy is written as numpy and then you are loading as uh, np you know so if you run a statement you will get um, the numpy module loaded into your notebook environment so let's run this now it's good so we discussed about different uh, topics or uh, data structures so one of them is array and then we talked about vectors and matrices. But what I'm saying that uh, NumPy has a few different uh, format, but one of the popular one is array. And essentially you can use your array uh, as your vector or matrices. We'll, we'll be looking at together, you know. So the first, we are defining a row vector with three elements, and then uh, we are defining a column vector, you know. So let's run these uh, two statements. And if you just run, what if you want to look that what is my row vector look like? So you can see that we're just uh, showing this the the data that we just initialize here, and uh, same for the uh, column vector. One thing we want to check that what is the size size of these two arrays that we have loaded. We are calling them as vector, but uh, uh, in the beneath they are actually uh, arrays. You know. So if you are not familiar with array, reach out to me or uh, read some documentation. Okay, let's write a shape. Yeah, so you can, we are we are saying that uh, the the first uh, row vector has three elements. If you if we run the other one, it will be much more clear. So let's run that um, column vector column vector dot uh, shape. So you see the, the column vector is of three by one. So you have three rows and one column. So this is a column vector. So I think one one thing we can try right away. So let's say that I have a column vector, column vector, and then I just do a transpose and then print the set. Okay, what does that look like? You know. So you see, now we have now we we converted the three by one vector to one by three vector. Okay, this is a more closer representation of the uh, mathematical row vector. Yeah. Anyway, so we have uh, we have initialized a row, a row vector and a column vector. Let's move forward. Um, and how about matrix? So again, we are defining matrix as an array, and you can see that uh, um, we are initializing a three by two matrix. You know. So let's load this. If you run matrix dot shape, so to check the shape of what my matrix is, so you can see that the matrix shape is three by two. Nothing crazy. So here we are doing the same, but uh, we are initializing with zeros. So np dot zeros will give you a vector with all the values to be zero. Okay, so this is good. And then you are doing the same. Uh, but uh, uh, we are you are initializing a three by three matrix, you know? so you can see that you have a three by three matrix. Okay. If you want to initialize with one, there is a uh, specific method once so np dot once. Uh, you see, like one good thing is that when you are hovering over your method, uh, 
you have a, a documentation shown by the uh, collab notebook you know so you, you can take advantage of that and because you don't need to keep or uh, get everything by heart you know this is a very nice tool you know so you're doing same the doing the same with all the values you are initializing with ones okay okay now you have your vectors or uh, matrices or arrays whatever way you call uh, you need to access because you initialized and now you need to access the the elements or maybe like a sub part of your matrix or uh, array you know or vector so here i have a, a two by three matrix and in uh, python just like in uh, java and c or C++, the index starts with zero, you know. So here we are actually um, referencing to one specific entry of your matrix. So the first index is referring to the one, you know, so, so this is a zero row and this is one uh, first, uh, so zeroth row and this is the uh, index one row. That means the second item of your what we are referring to, we are referring to the second row and the third column. You, you have to just add uh, one because uh, the index starts at zero. Okay. Let's look at, so we will see that the value should be six. Okay. Okay. So let's go a little left top, just reducing by one. So I'm reducing to zero and this is reducing to one. So this should be the first row and then the second column, you know, so we should get a, a two, you know, so this is good. So you, we know how to in how to hit a particular element within a vector and within a matrix. So just pass their corresponding indexes. You know. So these two dimensional metrics. So we have to just pass two index values. Now you you can also do a slicing operation. So for example, you want to get part or sub part of the matrix or array. You know. So here we are saying that okay. So if you put a colon, you are saying that this means all. You know. So you are saying that okay. I want to get all the column values for my column second column. You know? So that's what is referring to. So all the values for my second column. That means that two and five. So you see. Two and five, but if you just want to move to the third column, you should get three and six. So this is good, three and six. And then here you are saying all the rows, but starting from second column to the rest, you know. So all the rows, but start starting from the second column, meaning that you are just trying to get this part of the matrix, you know. So let's look at. So this is good. So. Maybe let's say I want to go to all up to my second column. So this should give me uh, this part of the, the values, you know, all but up to the second column, you know, so you're good. So we are saying that uh, the, this part, okay. And this part we have already seen because we ran the shape value. So the shape is, what is the shape um, of the matrix or array? And then the dimension is that what is the dimension, you know, so let's run this part first. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe let's run this part. So that should print the dimension. You, you see, like, so you have two axes, one for row and one for column. Okay. One thing, uh, maybe if you are not familiar with notebook uh, or Python, specifically so if you have multiple values separated uh, by comma then everything is uh, returned as a tuple you know so tuple meaning that you will have like on uh, three values within a first bracket and uh, the first value will be this guy so we are saying that what is the size i mean like the number of elements of your matrix so this is six and this is the set two by three matrix two by three matrix and uh, this is the dimension of your matrix tricks or array so this is good uh, now will be because so let's do like some operations for example you want to find the maximum value or the minimum value within your matrix so i'm just uh, displaying the matrix to make sure that we don't need to scroll up and down we can see the matrix value here you know so this is our matrix and if you look at our minimum value is one and the maximum value is six. So if I run this, that should be the, the, the same. Okay. So one and six. And 
if you use the parameter axis so we are running the same uh, method but here we are just passing uh, the axis as your axis axis uh, parameter you know so we are saying that okay uh, axis 0 and axis 1 so what does that will give us as output you know so uh, axis 0 means we want to get all the expected value for each column you know so that is axis 0 axis 0 each column you know so i want to get the minimum value for each column you know here we should get one two and three right and if you do axis one so you are actually trying to get the max uh, minimum value per row you know so uh, if you run axis zero then you should have three values that represent the minimum for each, each of the three columns and we have two rows so if you run axis one then you will get the minimum values per row that means that you will have two values so for the first row the minimum is one and for the second row the minimum is four so that's what we should get you know